Hello everybody, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. In the last episode, we cleared out a uh, Cylon fleet in the orbit of Scorpia and unfortunately lost uh, the Quintesh, which was a Battlestar we had in Fleet Group Daedalus, uh, bringing us down to one Battlestar, two Rangers, and only one Corvette, which has uh, put Fleet Group Daedalus at a severe lack of of ships in it. So we are currently building a, uh, we're building a Artemis that was originally to replace the Eagle that we lost, but I mean, uh, yeah, so now it's going to replace the Quintesh. We're still going to be down a Battlestar, uh, but we're also next turn, we're sending in first Battlestar group, which has the uh, Rinpet in it to deal with not only Cylon Fleet 64, but also uh, these uh, this mission here, which will give us some uh, requisition points and some Tilium, which we are desperately in need of, because uh, unfortunately, since we had to pull back a lot of our fleets due to officer shortages and the lack of size of our fleets, uh, we unfortunately were not able to garrison a lot of these planets, and uh, that's created a major economic burden on us because uh, we we used to be making I think almost 210 or something like that per turn we're down to 175 uh, 173 tillium per turn which is uh, really gonna start hurting us so let's end turn and go to the next one holy shit um yeah we are going to emergency jump uh, we're gonna emergency jump second patrol fleet out of there 300, 340 tillium. My god. Uh, 6,000 uh, Cylon... Uh, 6,000 Cylon fleet point... Or 6,000 fleet point Cylon fleet. Or whatever. Fuck it. It's a huge fleet and it's right there. That is... That is scary as shit. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay, apparently this fleet up here jumped away, so we are going to proceed with the mission proper. All right, so we currently have three Artemis frigates. So why don't we do this? Our Artemis is going to be our, like, they are the eyes. Well, not the eyes, but they're going to be our forward battle line, with the Battlestar kind of being slightly behind it. Uh, unless it's a missile-heavy uh, fleet we're going to be fighting, then we'll be going with a... Um, a, uh, the Battlestar in front. Everybody is firing, everybody's using Mark II Vipers, which is good. Uh, the Manticores, uh, are currently firing guided missiles. But I'm gonna have one Manticore firing, uh, armor piercers and one firing torpedoes. Uh, I mean, this is gonna be an expensive fleet to maintain, but I think that versatility is gonna help us. So, Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. I did switch everybody over to Mark II's, didn't I? I th oh god, I hope so. I record these very early in the morning, so I don't, uh, sometimes I'm not always the most coherent. Two. One. Alright. Dreadus contact. Marks are hostile. We have three contacts. That could mean a lot of things. That could mean we have two Cerberuses and a base star. We have two base stars and a Cerberus. We could have three base stars. Um, or we, or this could be easy. <laughs> I mean, that is an option. But uh, I don't know about this game. It's uh, it hasn't given us an easy assignment yet. So we are going to launch all of our Vipers. All right, we're gonna raise up our defense on these manticores. Actually, we're gonna keep them at the basically level because they're already pretty high. Everyone else is gonna be lowering though. On it, Commander. Oh, and now that we have these here, let's also take a look at uh, the yeah posture. All right, so. Uh, done. Uh, why isn't that not doing anything? Let's let's see this one. Can we... There we go. Okay, subsystem repair. Alright. 
Uh, so, that CSC doesn't have anything. Alright, so that's left and right. Okay, that makes sense. That's, uh, engineering. The armory isn't anywhere. Navigation, so that's... Okay, so that's rear. Alright, so we have a good chance of hitting left and right, but the rear, they gotta come really right up the butt to, to hit that. Fire control's only on top, but the top goes down pretty far. Uh, tech base at the bottom, I'm not seeing that, so we're good. And hangar's in the front, and the front's actually this, uh, whole little beak here. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. That's cool. I'm, I'm assuming that's how the armor works, because, I mean, it wouldn't make sense if it was just the, the subsystems themselves. So let's... yeah, everybody's launching, so let's end turn. What do they launch? Okay, we've got multiple launches. Three of them. So there's a possibility... If they're only launching one, these could all be base stars. Or these could all be Arachne, because base stars only have one squadron, I believe. Uh, possibly. I'm not sure about that one. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to keep dropping our guys down, and we're also going to start turning the formation a little bit. So say we all. Just keep dropping them down. And let's get our Vipers yes, sir. going in on the attack. Uh, let's do the next one here in the front of the prong, and we'll have... Yes, sir. This last one here go for the rear Understood. squadron. Yeah, that'll work. So we're doubling up on most of them, but the rear one. And turn. What do we got? What do we got going on here? I think uh, the next turn we're just going to turn and we're going to we're going to make a line of battle and we're going to hold back. Let the vipers do. <laughs> I think I just amalgamed the word fighters and vipers into one. Uh, we're going to let our vipers do the work while we kind of hang back. Yeah, that works. Alright, and turn. Vipers are almost to their positions. They're almost at their targets. So these are Raider prototypes, so that, so that again, doesn't really tell us much, uh, though only, on, uh, Talons can only get Raider prototypes, which is a good thing, but these things are very slow, so I'm assuming they're big sons of bitches. That's not a lot of fire, it's not large, so we got... A Talon? Oh, do we only have Talons? Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm, we are gonna play this safe, okay? We've lost too many men, too many yes, Battle sir. Stars, because we got yes, cocky. So we are not gonna do that. Yes, we are going to put a long-range missile barrage onto this Talon. Missile tubes prepped. Uh, Manticore's still gonna do its job. We will try and loop this uh, Manticore a bit closer. Let's keep lowering ourselves here. Because unlike the Manticores, so none of our other ships have chin guns, which yes, makes uh, being above them not necessarily the best thing. Okay, it looks like we've taken Let's care of almost all of the... Arachne. We have an Arachne. So this is either two That's Talons on Arachne, identified. two Talons in an Arachne. All right. Guided Missile, the Arachne. We are going to Armor Piercer, the Arachne. The Arachne is slow, so we are also going to fire a Torpedo Barrage at the Arachne. And we're going to get our Manticore above him. This Manticore is no longer our scout, because we can see everything. So, so raise you up. Keep going like that. Yeah, that works. You're firing. You're not going to hit anybody. These guys yes, are doing sir. fine. Yeah, that'll work. We'll have the uh, we'll have the adamants work as a like a wing. They're going to maneuver together as an entity, basically their own battle star. And we're gonna have the uh, we're gonna have the Rinpat be our primary like uh, I guess uh, a hinge where everything's gonna move from. 
So there goes the torpedo barrage. All of it hit. Well, some of it hit. Here goes our regular barrage, and we have the armor piercers going in. It looks like on top, which is a problem. So maybe the manticores aren't the best idea for the armor piercers. All right. So say we all. So the adamants are going to begin their turn. So say we all. While we have the Artemis slow down, and we are going to have it focus fire down you. We're going to have our spare Lever Mark II go back to defend the Ren Pet. Okay, we have incoming fire now. We're hitting them good. All right. Yes, Turn commander. back around. Keep these guys in formation. One more turn until we reload. How about you? Two more turns until you reload. But I want you to start lowering yourself down. I want you so to start raising all. yourself up. And we're going to have the adamants begin their focus firing. Start hitting the arachne. I was going to check angles here. They're a bit too high, so we're going to lower them down. Keep them in formation. Yes, sir. That works. Now, the Arachne is a missile boat, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. So, we've got some Vipers coming in. You're looking good. We'll raise up your attack to give you a good shot here. Yeah, and in turn. Yeah, incoming missiles. Looks like they're going for one of the adamants. Missiles incoming. Adamant is taking damage. Yeah, that's the Aphrodite. Okay. So you're taking a lot of hits. Keep lowering you down and you down. Okay, engineering's down. Left is completely broken up. Uh, here's what we're going to do. The Aphrodite is going to make a turn around. We're going to slow down her sister ships. Up their attack. They're still targeting the Arachne. So say we all. That looks good. We're going to speed up the Artemis. Yeah, and we are going to guided missile the yes, Arachne with all of our ships here. That looks good. That looks good. And you. Understood. And hit them as well. So, yeah. So that's uh, all those missiles going down the front or their sides. So that should kill it pretty quick. And we have an Artemis that's on full attack that should be able to... Uh, make it uh, think twice about what it's shooting at. Damage. Yep, and it did. There goes the Arachne. And it's dead. Boost out the Aphrodite. At least to get it a little bit further away. And start repairing your engineering. So you're dead. Focus fire down this Talon. We've got our ships back up here now, so they are going to fire their armor piercer at this rear talon, and you are going to fire your torpedoes at this way. rear talon, and so keep lowering all. yourself down. That works. Yep. And turn. Yep. Yep. Good hits by the talon. Or, I mean, good hits on the Talon by us. Keep speeding up. We're going to turn it, the battle line here. On it, Commander. Yeah, I think... Yeah, well, then we'll be on level with these guys. Okay, keep turning and lowering themselves. Understood. Focus fire on this Talon. You're gonna die. You're gonna keep... Eh, 
I actually don't want to boost you anymore. I want you to turn and go back around. All right, and turn. Okay. All right, we did not hit each other. Oh, ooh. Do that. Against target, hit that guy. You going to focus fire down this one. On it, Commander. Focus fire you. Focus fire you. Yeah, that should work. Understood. Okay. I don't want the Aphrodite to die. There goes one Talon. Alright, we're broadsiding with the with the Renpat. Yes, Commander. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Renpet's gonna keep lowering herself and keep going. We're gonna have the Manticores so make a turn. Understood. Alright, and turn. Yeah. There we go. Good broadside going on there. And dead. All contacts are down. Good job, Commander. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Yeah, the Aphrodite took a took a beating. All right, proceed. So now we have a good amount of Tilium in the stores. I mean, we spent basically all of that emergency jumping away the second patrol fleet. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, but I think with that, Canceron is now. Yeah, I think Canceron is good. I don't think they were ever that bad, actually. Now we have a couple of these, so what do we got? Diplomacy. The Leonis diplomat has been ambushed by monotheist sympathizers and requires extraction. Hmm. So what is that? It's 200 rec points, a lot of Tilium, one ranger. That's definitely worth it. What do we got here? Warband? We've War been tracking this Cylon strike force for a while now. No civilians are present. So maximum force is encouraged. Okay. All right. First Battlestar Group's option. Well, their job's going to be to go to Leonis and take on this right here. That should give them a pretty good... Uh, should... Yeah. I think that'll be enough to rank them up to... Yeah, that'll be pretty close. And once they rank up, I think they... They might get access to the more fleet points. If not, uh, we could probably drop one of our uh, frigates and use that ranger, which will uh, help us out a little bit. Let's see here. Build ships. What do we got? One more turn until we get our next battle star, which was, means we're still very limited here. <sighs> okay. We need to make it to chapter 10. We need to get there. We need to... We also need to get to Helios Alpha again. And start hitting these things. What do we got here? We got some unstable. We got some concerned. But a lot of them are steadfast. Alright. Let's see here. Let's have second patrol fleet... The next jump they're going to make is going to jump here, then to here, then if they're still there, they're going to clear Caprica. I think that'll work. Third patrol fleet, which is uh, 3250. Let's see here. Who is... So that's Pycon is red. So is Turon. Leonis. Vergon. Third patrol fleet, you don't have a jump cost, so you're going to jump over to uh, uh, Helicon. And your next jump will be to Vergon. Make them uh, steadfast again. 
And yeah, we'll wait a couple of turns for first Battlestar group, then they'll jump to Halion and do this. And by the time we finish, uh, the f by the time we finish the next Battlestar, we'll still be low here. So we might uh, commandeer might commandeer a couple of ships from 4th Patrol Fleet for a time, get them uh, and uh, fill up Fleet Group Daedalus. That or we could build a Ranger, which is only 261 Tilium. We'll have three Rangers, two Battlestars, and a Corvette, which uh, eh, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, we've uh, got a lot of ordnance we can work with on that. You know what? We're going to we're going to build a Ranger just to do that. Yeah, it'll be four turns, so that'll be a thing. All right, let's go to the next turn. See what happens. Okay, nothing. Nothing happened. Good, 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 good. And now we have the uh, the capper the the capper chat the capper chat. Uh, okay, the capper chat. And you're gonna go into fleet group Daedalus. Now we have an option here. We either wait for the ranger to finish, which will be three turns, or. Uh, or we take some of these ships and put them in free Fleet Group Daedalus, because uh, we currently have six ships total, including the Daedalus, so we can have one more ship in this group. If we... Let's see here. If we have two Corvettes, we could use them as a wolf pack. Chasing down small ships, but that does limit firepower quite a bit. We could have a... Could have a frigate. But doing that... Eh, we'll leave 4th Patrol Fleet incredibly low on frigates, because they only have the Quinn and the Hecka. Everything else in there is, uh, is a Manticore, which is actually not good for this time in the in the war, we're going to have to start uh, refitting 4th Patrol Fleet with more modern and larger ships. What the hell? Uh, Leonis leaves the 12 colonies. We will do what we must to preserve our independence and our culture. Here. They've defected. So they are no longer providing us with anything. Yep. Okay. So that is a problem, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm sending uh, ships to Vergon to get them uh, back up and uh, on par here. Well, shit. Could spend some... No, that'd be almost everything. Can't do that. A couple more turns for first Battlestar group to get moving. A couple more turns for you. You can jump, though. Uh, what are you? You are 90. 90 is 39.50. So you are large. <sighs> we are going to jump... ...you to here. Because we are going to need to get Fleet Group Daedalus out of here as soon as possible. So we're going to get another Corvette in here, then jump him out. Alright. End turn. Fleet group has its coordinates. Alright. So we are going to have the Pathfinder transfer to Fleet Group Daedalus. Because we still have two more turns until the Ranger is ready to go. 30 Tillium to jump the Daedalus. How's the economy doing? A bit better, uh, but not the best. What do we got here? 40 Tillium and 80 Tillium. 40 Tillium. So we got 30 Tillium on here. Alright, we're gonna jump Daedalus into, into Cuckolus. Jump you there. Minutes, and we're gonna jump... Yeah, I think this works. So we'll have first Battlestar group jump to Heli Hel Helicon. Confirm. 
All right, that's 70 tillium we're spending out of our 183 we get this turn, so we're, we're only going to get a little bit over 100 next turn. But we can deal with that. But looking at the time, that will be the end of the episode. Sorry for all the waffling here, but uh, we're getting to a point where this can make or break the campaign. We need to be very tactical, and we need to spend time thinking about all the decisions. So sorry that it kind of ground to a halt at the end there. But if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment down below. Again, I read every comment that is posted on all of my videos. Uh, also, like it if you liked it. If you want to support the channel, please take a look at the, maybe subscribing, or check out all my other playlists on the channel, because uh, maybe there's something else you enjoy. Also, look at the description down below for my Discord channel and my Patreon campaign. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!